Hey guys, what's up? So, I know this is kind of a terrible quality, you know, you get the point, but this video is just going to be a quick video where I show kind of overclocking. That's really it. I'm going to be doing a video soon comparing clock speed to core count, kind of, in a, in a new way. So, basically, to put it simply, I need to get this quad-core CPU. This is an i3-8350K that has been delitted, relitted with a copper heatsink, liquid metal, and put under liquid cooling right now. And uh, don't worry about these two graphics cards, They're, it's stupid, don't even worry about that. But I need to somehow get it from its boost clock of 4.5 GHz to a boost clock of 5.0 GHz. I've never had a CPU reach 5 GHz in my entire life. I've never had a 5 GHz CPU, so we've got to, um, we've got to change that. I've never overclocked to the fullest extent in the BIOS, this is my first time, I thought it'd be a little interesting video just to kind of go through it and see how we overclock a little bit. So, hopefully you guys can see the screen, and we're going to go into advanced mode. This is an Azeroth motherboard, so this is an Azeroth BIOS. We got 16 gigs, 2933. So, 8350K, process speed, 4000 megahertz. Let's see, OC tweaker. Uh, CPU config. So, our boost clock is 4600 megahertz, base clock. 3700 and our multiplier so our default clock is 100 megahertz keep that in mind so maximum core ratio value 46 can we just change that to 50 um, Forty six is forty so basically the base speed of any CPU technically is a hundred megahertz and then the multiplier is what it multiplies that by to get its boost speed of in this case forty six hundred megahertz. So that's forty six times one hundred. I just up that to fifty to hopefully get to five gigahertz, which might be stupid, but we definitely need more voltage. And I have no idea where to give it that. How the hell do I give it more voltage? Voltage configuration, there we go. Uh, fixed voltage, let's do uh, 1.3. And uh, let's save and exit. This might brick our CPU. I honestly don't care, I paid 40 bucks for this whole thing. I paid 40 bucks for this motherboard and CPU. If I brick it, I straight up don't care. Um, oh, we're, at least we're starting, we're probably going to blue screen. If we don't blue screen, so here's what we're going to do. I've tested it on Modern Warfare 3, which is a it's a very single core kind of game. It really doesn't use more. It's terrible at uh, scaling. So that's why I use it to test high clock speed CPUs is so that I can test it on that game. But it's like, hey, what's the maximum performance I can get on this clock speed? So if we can get it to boost to 5 GHz and we can beat our 152 FPS average on the game, I'll consider it a successful overclock because that's all we need for it is we're going to be testing this game anyway. I think we may have frozen. This motherboard has had so many problems, so I will be... I mean, honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth. The cooling on the VRMs and the power delivery is the worst I've ever seen on a motherboard. There's bare, there's like one heat sink. It's not even covering anything important. Like, this is this is a terrible motherboard for overclocking. Shit. And I don't trust it. But if I can get this up to 5 gigahertz without doing any effort... Like, this is a Z370 board. So it obviously supports the CPU. And, but technically it supports up to a 9900K, which boosts to 5 gigahertz. So that's why I'm wondering, like, can, like, does this fucking board even support anything? But then again, clock speed doesn't actually matter. It's all about the voltage in which you can reach that clock speed. There, there's a fucking page loaded, I know for a fact, man. You know, in the in the CPU destroying championships, I think that's world record. I think I managed to break that CPU in all of two minutes. I don't know what's wrong with this motherboard though, because hold on. If I turn this off, put this back in. I bet it works now. Bro, what the fuck is wrong? What is this board? Oh shit! Four point eight nine. Oh, hold on. Have we had a successful overclock? And the only reason it wasn't working is because this board sucks. We're, we're idling at a good 60 degree, 40, down to 30. We're, we're boosting the 5. Can you see that shit? You probably can't see that shit. Hold on, get in here. Hold on. Oh my god, it's too white. 
let's launch uh, Modern Warfare again so that you guys can see the MSI after. We're, we're, I know, I hate this camera so much. I need a new one, but I don't want to pay 500 bucks. Um, we are boosting to 5 gigahertz. Right there, 5 gigahertz. I'll zoom in on it in the, in the video. Hopefully you can see it. Can we get in a game? That's the real question. Don't worry about this. This is I haven't changed the label yet, and I have two graphics cards. Wait, hold on. Can we test our luck and get a GTX Titan? Yes, GTX Titan. Fuck yeah. Oh, we we're gonna crash our game though. That's fine. See what I mean with why should I have to have two? Okay. So I just did what I mean in. Well, it's probably going to blue screen or crash while we're testing it, because there's no way this is stable on the first try. But, although I got a successful overclock, the board wasn't booting just because of the way it, I don't know what is wrong with its PCIe slots or configuration. I have to plug it into this card to boot in the second bottom slot, you can barely see it, and then the Titan XP when I get into Windows. I don't know, maybe it's a driver thing. Let's go to resistance. So our average was 152 FPS. If I can beat it within the first minute, I'll be happy. We should be, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like 200 FPS here. God, we're holding at 5 gigahertz all core right now. And uh, F7, turn on benchmark. We are, what, 160, 170, 160. Yeah, we're, I mean, we've only gained like 10 FPS, but... For what was all of five seconds of work. Now, of course, if I was using a good board, this wouldn't have happened. I'm very happy with these results. You know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. The FPS really has not changed. And we're clearly running on the Titan XP because it's pretending it's 692. And it's 14, 18 megahertz, 18 percent. So we're clearly running on the right GPU. It's not like we're GPU bottlenecked. I just think, I mean, <laughs> this is just. I think it's just such a limited game in terms of its resources. Like it's still using, although it's at five gigahertz. I mean, this is for at least the one to two cores it's using to play the fucking game. This is pretty damn stable. You know what's crazy? We're at five gigahertz old core on a on a. It's only a quad core, but still, um, we're only at forty five degrees. Now again, this isn't full load by any sense of the word, but I mean, we're we're you can get up to thirty percent. It's not great, but hey, as long as this thing says five gigahertz, so five hundred ten meg or five thousand ten megahertz. Um, in the video that I'm going to be making about clock speed, uh, this works fine. I'm going to play out the rest of the match, but as far as for what I need it for, this is completely stable. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed. That was really stupid, what I did. Just like, but I mean, it's, it just goes to show how really easy and, and basically stupid it is to overclock. Um, I know this is, is not a really, I would consider a real video where I actually put even the minimum amount of effort in. I mean, I, I just, I was like, you know what? I want to overclock this and didn't do a test. So, if, if you want a spoiler for the, one of my future videos that I'm going to test this 5 gigahertz CPU versus a much higher core count but much lower clock speed uh, CPU. But, I just thought it was cool how quickly I was able to just, hey, we are boosting to 4.6. Um, the average is actually, like, lower. I don't, I just, I don't know what to do about that. But, um... We're boosting to 4.6, 4.5, and then all of a sudden we're boosting to 5 gigahertz. I bet I can get to like 5.2, because this thing is delated. We're only running at 50 degrees under load, so thank you guys so much for watching. I was kind of enjoyed. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.